Good morning. It's February 28th, and this is To My Liberal Friends. Well, today's podcast has nothing to do with politics, and instead, it's a tribute to one of my wife and I's best friends. Loretta Penn passed away yesterday. She and her husband, Buddy J. Penn, the former Assistant Secretary of the Navy and Acting Secretary of the Navy during the transition between Presidents Bush and Obama, were our neighbors in Fairfax Station, Virginia, for close to 20 years and have been part of our family for almost 30 years. Loretta fought the battle with cancer valiantly for almost eight years. She never let it slow her down. She never complained. And even in the end, she was planning new adventures. Loretta loved music and sang in the choir at Antioch Baptist Church in Fairfax Station. She was active in all of the church's activities. Loretta was born in Texas. She held a BS from North Texas University and a certificate of studies from Harvard University. She served on the board of directors at Tico Energy and the Carruth Institute of Learning, and the Lau Institute, Lau School of Engineering at Southern Methodist University. Loretta started out as a typing teacher in high, at a high school, but later entered the business world. She rose to become the president of Spirion Staffing Services and was the CEO from 2008 to 2011 when the company was acquired. Loretta was responsible for the company's largest temporary and full-time staffing business unit with revenues, revenues in excess of $1 billion. Previously, Loretta spent nine years in the recruiting and staffing industry with two national companies and 10 years in sales and marketing and executive management with the IBM Corporation. After leaving Spirion, she became an executive coach and listed the NFL as one of her clients. In 2019, she became a partner and named to the board of directors of ZRG, a global executive search firm. Loretta was a mentor and inspiration to countless young black women. She helped to guide them and let them know they could forge their path in the world. She was a guest lecturer at George Washington University. Now those were her professional accomplishments, which were many, but to my wife and I, she was our dear friend. There are so many things that we did in life together, it's difficult to recall any single one. While they were remodeling their home in Fairfax Station, they came and lived with us in our new home in Clifton for about four months. They even bought the lot next door to us, but never had the opportunity to build on it. Loretta and my wife were known to her husband and I as the whiny riffraff. They would sit in the back seat when we were out together, constantly critiquing us and giving us advice and direction, something we probably needed and they were prone to give. When my wife and I moved from Northern Virginia to Southern Utah, after retiring, Loretta became the de facto mother for my two daughters remaining in the Washington DC area. One of my granddaughters is named Natalie Loretta in honor of this remarkable woman. The photos I will be holding up at the end of the podcast are pictures of Loretta. She will be greatly missed, and my heart goes out to Buddy and the rest of her family. This photo that I show now is of my wife and Loretta at her, my wife's 60th birthday. They sat together for the entire time. The next two photos are photos of Loretta at Zions National Park. She loved visiting that park, and she said, this is the rock that I was built on. And, and enjoyed it so much. And she said, I need to show this to my friends at church. And this was Loretta again. The final photo is of her and Buddy on the 16th tee at an Entrada Country Club at Snow Canyon, looking up in the Snow Canyon. They are such a wonderful friend and couple. She and Buddy will be rejoined together someday, and I expect to see them both as well. Farewell, farewell Loretta. You've been an inspiration to many. May God be with you.